Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Ryan Woolridge. He's now 8-0 and he's back out fighting this um, this Saturday against uh, Martin Shaw over, uh, is it six rounds? Yeah, my six, yeah. Mm -hmm. Over six rounds at the best cot stadium in Wal uh, Walsall, sorry, not in Wolves, Walsall, uh, in, on the BCB show and... um. Yeah, pleasure getting you on as always. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me again. Anytime, mate. Of course, I had you on, I think it was either the night before or the week of the Gratty fights, or maybe the week before. But yeah, I had you on before the you fought Octavio Gratty. Um, yeah. Yeah, talk about that fight. Yeah, to, to be fair, Octavio Gratty was, he was exactly what we thought he'd be on the, on the team, to be fair. He, he was... He was slick, he was well seasoned. Um I think I knew about thirty seconds in, I thought he ain't going anywhere. Um he was he was yeah, he was just one of them. He, he took took well. He knew he knew his trade, he knew what you know, he knew the the things to look out for. When he was tired, he did the little things like spitting his gum shield out. Um I did game down in the fifth. And then I knew I nerfed him. But um, I carried on pushing in the sixth round. The sixth round was our best. We just, we just both went free. And um, do you think it seemed to happen a bit more then? And we was we was both catching each other. And it was yeah, it was the best round. Do you feel like he was hurt uh, when you put him down? Um, I think I hurt him early on, and then to be fair, I think he was off balance a bit more when eating. But he did get down, and I know it was from a couple of punches. Um. But I think I hurt him earlier on before I put him down. And I think that was an accumulation of things then when he went down. Um, but yeah, it, he stuck it out well. And, you know, he, I think he's been stopped twice in, well, properly. I think he's only been stopped like once. Um, a lot of the times it's just either the ref jumping in or, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, he's, he, he was a. Very clever and because he was so little as well. I mean, he's only five foot six, mm -hmm. and he come in lighter than he should have done. He got mixed up with the contract. He said he he thought that our white was made it. Well, which says it was eleven eleven stone two. Which oh yeah, you said you said that because I think I had you on after uh, the weigh in, and you said, um, yeah, you said that that he was something. He yeah, you said that about the weight. Yeah, yeah, and. After that, he, he did play up a bit, to be fair. But, you know, we've become, as you do after all the fights, you know, you become good friends with, with your parents after um, once a business is sorted. And, yeah, we, it's like a lot of my parents, you know, text texting quite regularly and he, he asked me how I'm doing and we, we speak. So, you know, was, every fight that you have, you build up these little relationships with people and, you know, it's all good learning and... Mm -hmm. He's awkward as isn't um yeah Gratty's a very awkward fighter um and he knows how to sm uh smother his opponent's work doesn't he Yeah he does he's like he's a switcher as well so he switches a lot he makes himself even smaller than five foot six it was like boxing somebody who was like five foot he was at times it was it was frustrating but um, made it awkward Yeah. But I just kept persisting and pushing him back and breaking him down. How would you part rate by your part and I'll start to find you. Um, I wouldn't say it was my best performance because of how awkward it was. I don't think that got him there to be. Um, but overall, I was happy. You know, I got the job done, and you know, we then we then look looking to to knock this park out. It was just a case of. You know, continuing getting the rounds in the experience, and I think that's the the key things. Experience, that's what I need. Mm -hmm. And then, and now, of course, moving on to your fight this Saturday, you've got uh, Martin Shaw, who's four wins, uh, twenty defeats with uh, three draws, um, being stopped the nine times. So a bit of a, a sort of half and half, getting stopped and going the distance, sort of sort of fighter. What do you know about Martin Shaw? To be fair, I've watched him. I've watched mine a couple of times, and again, I don't think his his record does him justice at all. Um, mm. 
he's definitely one of those fights that comes in as a go, and I think that probably reflects his, his record quite a lot. But the record alone, you know, he's, I think originally he's a prospect who decided then to obviously go on the road. But, you know, you can't, no matter what anybody says, you can't look past these people and these fights are where, you know, you learn your trade. And this is this is a fight where I want to continue showing what I've learned. And I think, if anything, a couple of tweaks that we've worked on, which hopefully I'll be able to tell you after the fight, that I'll work. Um, and then we'll, these are going to make all the difference this time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, of course, um, uh, he's he's... He's picked up a few uh, draws here and there. Tom Brennan, Liam Walsh. Um, yeah. And then he's been in there with, of course, Ashley Ells, who's fighting for the British. Um, Mitchell Frearson, who's fought for the English. William Crawler. Uh, he beat some guy called Rosa O'Donovan, who made his debut not long ago. Um, yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's good. And he's only been stopped with, uh, I mean, Goldsmith, you know. Crawler, people like that, you know, who were uh, who were top fighters in their own right, good fighters, well, that, good up and coming prospects. Yeah, that's it. yeah, I mean, people who've stopped him. I mean, people who beat him on points, you know, none of them are any monks. So, mm. um, like I say, I've got a job to do, and I've got to do it my way, and I'll see how I get on with him. But, um, it you know, it would be nice to go through the gears and try some different things out that we've been working on, hopefully. You know, um, get, you know, maybe even a, a stoppage or certainly look at the things we've been, like I've just said, working on and breaking him down, I should say. Mm -hmm. Of course, have you seen like um, vulnerable parts uh, in Martin's sort of style? Yeah, I mean, that's the first thing I look at, anyone I fight. That was the first. The first thing I look at is positives and what them can bring to the party. And then secondly, I look at what I can do then. And then I build up an image in my head of what it's going to... Well, whichever the image you build up, it always ends up being different. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nine times out of ten, I like, to, I like to think I've got a good game plan. And, you know, it's it's it'll be along the lines of what I've been thinking about. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Talk about, of course, you're fighting the, uh, the best Scott again. And, of course, um, how many fights are on the card for people who were going and, of course, people who uh, who would want it at home? How many fights are on the, the card? Yeah, so I think there's, I think there's six or seven now. Um, all up-and-coming prospects. Another friend of mine, he's been added on, Liam Gold. He's a, he's a good kid as well. Um, I've got a couple of mates on there as well, James Griffiths. So, like, because we're trying to, like, train all around the same area and, that, you know, you become good mates with these lads. Um, but, yeah, me, me and James are good mates. I don't know where he's got, to be fair. Um, there's a couple of uh, girls on there as well. I don't know, really know them. Mm. And I think who else is on there? Oh, you know, I forgot to be fair. I'll have to have a look at the poster. <laughs> Hang on, I'll have, I'll quickly get it up quickly. Hang on. Should be on your... Yeah, it's on your Instagram, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me get it up. Here we are. Yeah, so... It, um, yeah, Jay, Connor Lee Jones, Jasmine Hodge, Oh, yeah, Connor as well. Um, Henry Roger, Rogers, I think. Yeah, that's all it says on the poster, but I assume more have been added. Yeah, I know Liam's been added on there and bits and bobs going on, but yeah, it should be it should be a good show. What time do you feel what time do you think you'll be on, like roughly? Oh, I don't know. I mean, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only local fighter on there, so Ticket time really gone as well as I'd like to have, but I've still done all right. I think I've, I think I've done about one hundred and twenty, but it's That's ain't good. as good as I can do. But like, you know, without these, without the fans and the people coming out, it, there's no boxing there at all, mm. and especially mm. the especially the away corners. Without the away corner, you know, you have got to take your hat off to, to them, 
because I think everyone takes them, takes them quite, you know, takes, not advantage of them, but you know what I mean. Um, I can't think of the what well, I tried to say. Like maybe yeah, overlook think, them, expect an easy night sort of thing. That's it, yeah. And for, for the jobs that they do, you know, they come up travelling the country, a lot of them travelling Europe and, you know, they're flying, do the stuff. And I think a lot of the prospects, we all take that for granted and it's hats off to them. Or, or, you know, you've got to write them for what they do because mm. there's no sport without them. Yeah, because, yeah, because they fight one week they're in London, one, the next week they're fighting in Wolves, you know, and then next week they're in Liverpool. They're, they're, they're up and down the country every week if they don't get cut or stopped. Yeah, see, and I think, you know, for, for anybody... Outside the boxing world as well, who don't understand the role of a journeyman. I mean, I think the journeyman they deserve more credit than the mm. prospects for what they do. It's 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 an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Um, what can fans expect from you, um, Saturday night? Fireworks. <laughs> can we expect a knockout from you, or as we always, as fighters always say, we won't look for the knockout if it comes. It comes the usual saying. Yeah, it's the usual saying, but um, obviously we, it's something we always push for. But um, as I'm getting older now, I'm gonna, I'm getting a bit more experience. I'm trying to come, come towards the end of the apprenticeship, as they say. Uh, it's mm -hmm. gonna be. I, th I think I'm gonna be loose off the leash a bit more this time. So we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Mm -hmm. Depends which which Martin Shaw turns up and which Roy Moore which turns up on the night. So. Mm. Um. Yeah. Of course. Um. Do you feel like this is um sort of your year to like push on and how many fights do you want to like, try and have this year? And do you feel like this is um your year to get your name out there a bit more? Yeah, I think this is this is a it's a judgment year really. Um, I think probably three or four fights again. That would that would be nice. I mean, I've just bought an house now, so after these fights, I'm gonna. Probably take a bit of time away, sort get all that sorted. Um, and then try get out in May or June, July. Yeah, probably probably near towards the summer. Um, get get a fight in there. Probably an eight round of that will do. And then towards the back end of the year, I want to be looking at you know a, a bit of a big fuss. Yeah, maybe in Midlands or some. You know, you can't rule out the farm ring in as well. So mm. now I'm starting to rack up for it. Any anything could happen. You know. We're, if someone comes in for, I don't know, I'll, I'll get get called in as you know underdog and something like that, you know, mm. on a TV show maybe, or if I just get a TV slot, just to or get. Well, hopefully maybe Arabic Saudi one. mate one day. Yeah, Saudi would do, wouldn't he? <laughs> we could all go out there. <laughs> yeah, what what do you make of uh, the Saudi Arabia? Uh, the fights getting made over in Saudi Arabia, and of course you're getting these fights over the line. Of course, well, Fury use it was meant to be. Next week, and now it's in May. What sh what do you who do you feel like is going to win that fight if it does end up happening in May? You know what I think. I'd like to think, uh, and obviously, yeah, fear is British, and we've got to got to back the British. But for me, I I do like Yusik, and I think it'll be too much for him, especially having seen him against that. Ngannou. That right, yeah, Ngannou or whatever his name is. I think having seen that, I think Yusik will just be too sharp for him, and he'll just he's someone who will look up to as well. Yusik, I think he'll just outbox him. I like his attitude. He ain't. I think that's where I think Fury will get found out. To be fair, I think he'll just get mm. outboxed. But I'd like to think Fury would do the do the business side. Like, but I don't know. What about um, Pardon. I was going to say about Saudi. I think it's good, and it's you know that side of the world's coming alive now. But I'm missing boxing. You know, we ain't seeing our big fights in Vegas and stuff like that no more. It seems to be dying off. Mm. I mean, and I think get, we need get the odd fight in Vegas now, but yeah, mainly yeah. they're all heading over to um Saudi, like you say. And I do miss some of like the big fights at like Wembley. Well, they did mm. some at Tottenham Stadium as well. You know. Sort of, but I'm glad that the the big fights are finally getting made like they like they should be. Of course, another one um 
but a beer the bivol which is meant to be in june i think Yeah, that'd be a big fight, that will. that, that's tough to call that one to be fair Yeah, I don't think I could call that. mm. No. what, what about jean parker that's on the aj and garnu card Oh, you know what? I really like Parker. Um, and I think he's he not had the chance to come through like he should have. And I think it's just all been timing for him. I think if he'd have had, let's say, an extra two years... I'd like to see him in against Joshua again now. Because I, I really like Parker. I think he's... I think, again, he's another one who's outside the ring as well. You, don't, you can't just look at him inside. I mean, his attitude as well. He's just he's a nice bloke. So do you think do you feel like he'll beat Zhang? I don't know. It's a big ask, ain't it? I mean, after what he did to uh, Joyce. It's like, I don't know. That's It is a big interesting ask. one. Yeah. But I'd like to think I'd like to think he's he's got a bit of experience now that he might need against someone like Zhang. Mm. Mm. Um, But I think he's just, I think he's just too big though. who Zhang Yeah. yeah but what Wilder was quite big I mean people writ him off against multiple people and he he's upset the apple cart he, he is good but Zhang Zhang is more of a come forward fighter he's strong He's aggressive. He doesn't let you breathe, basically, pretty much. He's just non-stop. Yeah. That's it, yeah. I think I think you're right, yeah. But I think if he loses him as soon as you're off your guard with Zangi, he'll find he'll find you. Um yeah. I'll lock Park to him though. Mm. Um, yeah. Of course, um James Beach, who's your who's your friend, um, he's fighting in Ireland in March, I think. Yeah, it's in Belfast, I think. Yeah, he's got uh, Kurt Walker for, I think it's um a WBA international, if I, I'm right in saying all. Well, it's for a belt, but I'm not too sure if it is for that, but I think it is. But yeah, he's got Kurt Walker. Yeah, I think it's like a European continental thing or something like that. What do you make of that fight for James? I think at this moment in time, that's a perfect fight for, for James. I think Jim will be... I think he'll bring too much experience to the to the table for that Kurt Walker. I mean, he's a good amateur, won't he, I think. But in terms of in the pros, I mean, it, it is a, it's a different box of frogs, but when you've got an experience, I mean, you can bring all the experience you want, but I think James had like a variety of amateur fights. He was, he was really, um, really looked up to in the amateur game. And he did well. So I think he won fifty odd of them them forwards. He was he wearing no mug. So it's saying like he's he's coming off the back of like Two defeated. hardly any hardly any fight chair and at the pro game, I mean he's been in with some of the best in the country, Dennis McCann, Alpi Price, Brad Foster, Chris Bulk, Nathaniel Collins. Mm. He's been there in the trenches. Of course, Yeah. he fought on BT, won the Midlands, won the IBO uh, Intercontinental Challenge for the Brit. You know, he's he's been on the big stage before. He knows um, what it's like to be. And when he when Walker, I think he's only done six. When it gets to the seven, eight, nine, James not and the ten, James has been in those sort of rounds Yeah, before. that's where he's comfortable. After eight rounds, he's changed his territory. Like, if he, I like to, I'm hoping he'll he'll really push hard and try and try and hard for it. And I think this is a fight where he can. I think the fight for Alpi Price, he, in my opinion, he should have won that. I mean, I just don't think he quite had it. I just don't think his edge is in the right place to try and hard enough for it, but. I just think he was a bit deflated having things gone on with his last defeat and stuff like that. But I think coming off the back of, you know, he's, bit, he's got another win under his belt now and he's, he seems to have the momentum back. He's moved gyms, um, that seems the right move for him. So I'd like, I'd like to see him do well. And if he wins this, I'd like to see him win this and retire Maybe go with again that. for the... What, you think if he wins this, he should hand the gloves up? I think I think yeah I think that'd be sensible for him. I mean he's he's had a great career and 
he's got so much ahead of you. I mean, if I could have half of what Beach has had, I'd be happy. Mm. Um, so I think he's really achieved. He, he's got nothing else to prove to me. Yeah. But, you know, he, he might want to carry on himself and carry on carry on fighting. But I think for what he's achieved and what he's done, I'd be happy to just knock it on the head now. Mm. He, he's, yeah, because he's been in... Being BT headline BT Sport fought for the middle. He's be he's been there, done it, and he's yeah. He's, see, he hasn't ducked that no one. He's took challenges, and even though he's he's got a few defeats on his record, he's he's been in there with the best and everyone who's been thrown at him. Yeah, he's he's never turned a fight down either. He's he's hard as nails, and you know he's he's one of my best mates. I've trained with him since I was a kid, and I, I always and I always will look up to him. But um, that's just my. That's how I'd like to see him finish, like that. win this fight, and then call it today. Mhm. Mm um, and yeah, before I let you go, oh, I've two things. Um, have you got a message uh, to the fans who are coming to support you on Saturday, and of course, watching you back at home as well? Yeah, I'm. I'm buzzing it at Warsaw as well as football. My my uh, football club. So, hopefully I can get more Warsaw fans down there at some point. But for the people who brought tickets, you know, you, I just want to thank them because, as I said before, a bit like a journeyman without the fans, there's no boxing. And for all the money that they earn, I mean, it ain't cheap to go and I take the boxing. You know, if you have, say, if you have two VIP tickets, you take your missus, that's 150 quid before you've even, before you've even got out the door. Then you've got your drinking money and all the stuff. So, you know, for people to spend their hard earned money to come and watch me box, it's it means a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, from me, mate, thank you for um your time uh, as always. And all, from me, all the best with the fight on Saturday. Good luck. No, it's fun. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time as well. You've been brilliant again. Thank you, mate. Bye. Cheers.